Roads this morning at 501. We're first checking in on what's going on in the metro. You can see here this is I 3580 at 86. Pretty dry here. So that is the good news. But again, if you're traveling more to the north or the west this morning, that's where you're going to run into some problems. We're taking a look at road conditions across the board. And you can see here we have pink and blue. Just a reminder that that blue means partially covered roads. That pink means completely covered. And you're seeing that pink in Fort Dodge and Mason City. So you want to be extremely careful if you are again traveling west this morning. Uh, we're going to take a closer look at what's going on here. We also uh, I also pulled a plow cam from Webster City. This is on Highway 20 again around that Fort Dodge area. You can see here pretty much completely to partially covered roads. This is where that blue meets that pink. So we're going to take a look at your road conditions. Keep an eye on the roads out there and uh, we'll take a closer look at what's going on here in the Metro in a few minutes. And Webster City Schools also one of those groups that has canceled school for the morning and for the day. We have 14 closings right now to keep you updated on. We want to stay on the roads though. Tommy Clark is in the storm chaser right now. now you've been making your way to the north and to the west. Tommy, where are you? Eric, we are now on 35 near Story City, just past Story City, and we're in pretty much the same conditions as when we were in Ames, not seeing any slick spots as of yet. That strong wind is moving our storm chaser, which is a big vehicle. So if you're in any kind of vehicle this morning, you're going to be expecting that strong wind to be moving you a bit. Um, but other than that, you know, we're just seeing the wind, a little bit of snow on the ground in patches, but not too bad yet. Still morning to take it slow, and as we head north, we are expecting to see some changes. So we are going to keep you updated as we stay. Roads obviously impacted, but so are the skies this morning. KCCI's Lauren Donovan is out at the airport. She's keeping an eye on things for us. It's a very big travel day. Lauren, it seems like a mirror, it's a kind of a miracle. Things have been going steady there this morning. Yes, with the exception of just one flight, Alex, and it was one of the Delta flights. You can see a small crowd gathering at the counter over here. They were supposed to get in last night at 1130 around that time, uh, but now their flight has been delayed to 7:10 a.m. So some Des Moines travelers coming back earlier this morning, likely because of the severe storm that has hit Minneapolis and destinations or connections in places like Denver and Minneapolis were told uh, by the Des Moines Airport and by the National Weather Service. You might want to rethink your travel plans going into those spots because there are some blizzard like conditions happening north and west of us. Now you can head online to flydsm.com to check out your flight status. Some airlines may offer charge fees for making itinerary changes. Others may offer you vouchers. The airport does not have any control though over weather related flight delays or any cancellations. As for the time getting to your gate this morning, it's pretty standard. We were here just a couple of days ago. It was 20 minutes back then. It's 20 minutes this morning. No delays or cancellations leaving here from the Des Moines Airport. Just a steady number of people hauling their bags, hopefully for a fun Thanksgiving weekend. We're live this morning at the airport. Lauren Donovan, KCCI News, Iowa's News Leader.